All right, for my online magazine, uh, I'm going to be doing it on exploitation films, uh, uh, mainly just because I'm interested in the subject as of late. Um, uh, and I think it's niche enough and unique enough for people to really be into it, just because there's a lot of horror magazines but not specifically just exploitation. Uh, it's going to include a review uh, and a feature of Russ Meyer and his film Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, uh, as well as an overview of his whole life in my feature. Um, uh, I worked out that the magazine might cost about 420 each, then £26 for a yearly subscription according to a study of UK magazine costs online. Uh, name ideas for the magazine I took from uh, a 1973 film called Thriller, A Cruel Picture, and just called it Cruel Pictures, uh, which inspired Kill Kill. Um, Daryl Hannah's character has an eye patch, and that's what it's referenced to, so I think it's unique enough and also big enough for me to name it after it. And also, it unintentionally represents the controversial nature of being movies and exploitation films as a whole. Um, for font ideas, uh, because Russ Meyer was big in the 60s and exploitation blew up in the 60s, I thought I could have 60s style B-movie fonts and the one I like the most is the one at the bottom. Uh, for my target audience, I looked at horror films because they kind of get grouped together quite a bit. Um, and that ranges from males 15 to 25, but because exploitation films hit their peak in the 70s, I thought maybe my main audience would be young or born around that time. So that then bumps up to like 15 to 45. Uh, and then I looked at popular exploitation films in their IMDb stats and looked at kind of the old age audience of those uh, and continued. I went on Facebook, uh, just like my previous tasks, took free ideas for a magazine and then uh, just asked people what they'd like the most, which also helps me in general to find out what people would like and what they'd like to see. And I think this also proves my point that People want to hear about exploitation because it's not very well known and hear it from someone who knows it quite a bit. Whoops. Uh, advertisement. So the best type of advertisement for that magazine seems to be through TV. Um, especially like OK and stuff like that, you always see adverts for. But because of the rise of the internet in the last 10 years, I think YouTube as well is very good just on the side of a YouTube video, or even before a YouTube video. Or even um, a lot of podcasts I listen to will always feature like a magazine or a website that they like at the beginning. Uh, unique selling point, I think again, is because there are plenty of horror magazines but they will only talk about exploitation film every now and then. I think it's unique enough to just have an exploitation film magazine, but I want to make it unique enough and not just heap off of that kind of style of horror to have it all bloody and stuff like that. Uh, my flat plan, which is very simple, just kind of just outline the, the type of magazine that I do, where the review would be, the pictures and stuff like that. Uh, the main story, again, is going to be an overview of Russ Meyer's life. Um, and this is inspired heavily by a lot of film sites as they overlook a filmmaker's career. But I don't want to just go film by film. Instead, I want to go just kind of year by year for his life. And then if I have an opinion on a film, then I'll just say it and then show like an overview of how well the film did critically and financially. Uh, this is inspired by Andy Wire's uh, overview of Woody Allen's 40-year career um, and their <coughs> uh, big retrospective of his career that they did. Uh, prices, again, from uh, Statista, uh, a website, they said that 350 to 420 each would be quite a good gauging point for me. Uh, and then £26.78 a year would be the average for uh, leisure interest um, magazines. Uh, success, I think, again, just because it's unique enough and also quite taboo that people could gravitate to horror itself. Uh, and I think also because the youth are still into horror films, just as time goes on, I think this could broaden the horizon so that they can get into something that is just as quite relentless and disturbing, but not specifically horror and its own thing. Uh, and then, my other friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>